Yo, what to do people? Welcome back. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a question that I get all the time. It seems like every time when I see someone at the gym, they'll always ask me this, and that is, how do you get abs? But first, I'm right in the middle of the Squat Every Day 100 Day Challenge, so I have to talk about what I've been up to for the past four days. So if you don't give a damn about the Squat Every Day Challenge, you can just skip a little bit forward into the video I put in the description, and it can go right to the question. But for those of you that care, let's go so my weight has kind of dropped down a little bit since the beginning of the challenge because i had i just finished the deload and i haven't decided to go straight back up to very heavy weight so right now it's kind of like moderate intensity so this day i only did 295 for five uh reps then moving on to day number 68 which i decided to take things a little bit lighter now during the challenge i don't do every day heavy if my legs are feeling kind of fatigued i will bring down the intensity a little bit so today i did 225 for five reps again then moving on to day number 69 oh magical number i worked on 300 pounds but it did four reps i actually had about five reps in me but i didn't want to push it too much i don't want to risk you know making something go Kah! snap you know so i took it a little bit easier just did four reps if i push very hard i probably could have gotten seven or eight but it's all right there's still more time for me to push more moving on to day number 70 again feeling a little bit fatigued so i decided to drop down the weight a little bit and i did 275 pounds for five reps again i had more in the tank but still taking the little things a little bit easy so, all right guys so now i am done talking with squats now i'm going to get to the matter that we all care about and that is how do you get abs so i know it's summertime you know all you guys are trying to look good for the beach you know look good for the pool parties and you're wondering man how do i get my abs to pop out and the thing is it is very simple your abs are a function of your body fat percentage we all have abs if we can't see them we just have fat covering them so all you need to do is lose some body fat and then voila you got abs. As a male, you need your body fat to be below 10%. And as a female, your body fat percentage needs to be also below 18%. There are three ways for you to check your body fat percentage. The first way is through BIA, which is pretty much a handheld device which sends an electrical signal through your body and they can actually figure out how much of your body is fat and muscle. Now, these machines tend not to be very accurate because how hydrated you are will change the reading, how much food you had, there can be an error as large as 5%. So even though this is a way to test your body percentage, I don't recommend this method. The second way is to get your skin calipers tested. So to do this, I highly recommend that you go to a gym and actually have a professional do this for you because if you do it on yourself, you're not gonna get a very accurate result. Now, the third, and probably the most expensive way of checking your body fat is to get a DEXA scan. It takes readings of your body where it can we'll figure out how much of your body is bone matter, water, muscle mass, and fat. This is, in my opinion, the most accurate way of testing the, your body fat. The only downside is, uh, depending on the facility, it could get expensive. If you have some cash to blow and you want to get the most accurate reading, I highly suggest you go check out a DEXA scan. If you want to find one, I suggest you look on Google, search in your area, put in your area plus DEXA scan, and I'm sure you find some facilities that will do this for you. So now that you know how to test your body fat, you're like, God damn it, now I know my body fat. It doesn't matter, I'm still not low enough. How do I get my body fat percentage lower? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the abs, man. I'm trying to get the sizzle. I'm trying to get that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to look good. Looking for the ladies. Looking for the homies. You know what I'm saying? All right, don't worry. Relax, I got you. How you lower your body fat percentage is very simple. You just need to get into a calorie deficit. Now, a calorie deficit is when you're consuming less calories than you're burning. It is that simple. Calories out, greater than calories in. Boom, and now all of a sudden you're losing fat. Now, there are three ways for you to create a calorie deficit. The first way is for you to reduce your caloric intake. The second way is for you to increase your activity. And the third way is to actually do a combination of number one and number two, which is to increase your activity and decrease your caloric intake. Now, me personally, when I'm working with clients, what I have them do is first reduce their food intake because believe me, it's a lot easier for you to eat 500 calories less than it is for you to burn 500 calories more. And then when they hit a plateau, I will now add in some more extra activity to get that caloric burn up so they can keep losing more fat. Now, I actually left out one thing. I'm sorry, my bad, I almost forgot, right? Even though you're eating less calories, you still need to lift weights. 
I cannot stress this enough because look, right? If you want your body fat percentage to go down, you need to tell your body to actually hold on to your muscle when you're in a calorie deficit because you see, muscle is very energy costly. And when you're eating less calories, your body is just trying to save itself. It can't tell the difference between muscle and fat. It's just trying to survive. So if you are not lifting heavy, your body thinks, hey, what I need these biceps for, man? What I need these pecs for? What I need this booty for? I don't need it. You know, get rid of that stuff. It is just wasting too much energy. Just because you're trying to lose fat doesn't mean that you should start lifting light poopoo weights. No, don't go and switch to lower weights and higher reps to get that extra burn. That is stupid. If you do that, you are going to burn more muscle and you're gonna get weaker and you're gonna get smaller and you're gonna have to lose more weight before you can actually see your abs. So what you need to do to see your abs is this. Create a caloric deficit, that's number one, and then keep lifting heavy, number two. Believe me guys, it really is that simple. You don't need to make it any more complicated than it is. I'm not gonna talk about hits or anything else. Just do those two things and I promise you, you're gonna be a better version of yourself at least eight to 12 weeks from now. Now guys, I hope that you guys like this kind of content. Plus, if you guys have any other fitness questions that you'd like me to answer, Man, just leave it in the comments and I'll try and do it in my next video or any upcoming videos because I am here to help you guys also. So guys, you know what to do. If you like this content, give it a shoo down thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. See you guys later.